Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. I am thankful because it's Thursday and you're here. Welcome back to our PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Hammock and I'm here to help you practice and learn all the skills that you need to be an excellent reader and writer. I'm so glad you're here today. I was just reading, you know the story of the three little pigs? Right, and there's a big bad wolf. And a, Well, this is a little bit like that. It's going to be familiar. It's called the three little javelinas right? It is so cute. So I used to have a pig at my house and her name was Havelina. It was Twilight Havelina to be exact. And this story was really cute. It reminded me how much I loved her. So you might enjoy this story at where? Right, your Fresno County Public Library or on Sora. So if you like to read stories that are similar to others that you know, but they're changed up a little bit, you might enjoy this story. Check it out. Hey, let's see who is number two on our Sora list, okay? All right, let me put this down and let's see who is in the second spot. All right, here we go. Heaton Bulldogs, way to go Heaton. Great job, wow. We've got Bernie in fifth, Turner in fourth, Wilson in third, and Heaton in second. Our elementary schools are doing an awesome job checking out books and reading. Great job. I would love to send you an activity book. All you need to do is write to me here in our PBS classroom. The address is right on the screen. Do you see it? Write it down. Send me a letter, tell me what you're learning about, or tell me a storybook that you'd like me to share with everybody else. And I will put in the mail one of these fun activity books for you. They're free. All you have to do is write me or send me an email. Just make sure that you include your home address so I know where to send your book, okay? Great, I look forward to hearing from you. All right, my friends, it's time for us to train our ears for sound. Are you ready? Great, because today we're gonna play the phoneme addition game. Do you remember what you do when you add? Right, you put things together, right? So we're gonna do that with words. Did you know you could do addition with letters? Isn't that crazy? All right, so our addition game goes like this. I'm going to say the word or, and I want you to add to the beginning. Are you ready? F or, put it together. Four, great job. All right, now I want you to add r to the beginning of or. Here we go. R, or, roar. Terrific. Okay, one last one. Are you ready? What's our word? Or, good. And I'd like you to add mmm to the beginning of or. Mmm, or, more. Great job. Did you hear all of those words? For, roar, more. Right, they all say or. But guess what? They all are spelled with a different or spelling pattern. Oh, can you believe it? Isn't reading so complex? It's hard, isn't it? But you can do hard things. I believe in you. You have a great, big, strong, beautiful brain. So let's warm up your beautiful brain with some fluency. Are you ready? Here we go. E-Y says E. O-A says O. A-Y says A. I G H says I. E E says E, good for you. O E says O, good. 
O W says O. E A says E. A I says A. I R says er. U R says er. E R says er. And A R says R. Great job. All right, all this week we've been practicing with our corn card and the sound of or. You're getting really good at it. There are three ways to spell the or sound. All right, so let's take a look at them here at the top. We have say the spelling pattern with me. Ready? O A R says or. O R says or. And O R E says or. Or. Good job. All right, today we're going to build some words. Are you ready? Okay, let's watch how those spellings go. Let's read this word together. Are you ready? F or k. Fork. Good. Let's change fork to fort. What do we need to change? Yes, good. We're going to get rid of the K. And we're going to bring up a T. And now we have fort. Fort. My girls used to like to make a fort with blankets. Do you like to do that? What if I want to change fort to short? Short. What do you hear at the beginning? Right. That is our digraph. SH says sh or t short. Good. How about mm, the shore? Now think about this, shore, the sea shore. We have sh or, so is this, does that look right? Nope, you are right. We need to change the or spelling to the one with the silent E at the end. Shore, that says shore as in the Sea shore. Good job. What if I want to say snore? I hope you don't snore when you sleep. What would I do? Right, I'm going to change this out and I'm going to put up the blend, the consonant blend, S N. Ooh, maybe. There we go. Sn or snore. Great job. Hey, today we're going to read a story. And I want you looking for those spelling patterns. This story is called Born to Learn. All right. This story is about a, a kind of a bird called a stork. They're very tall and really pretty. So let's read and find out what's going to happen with this stork. He was born to learn. One day, it began snowing hard. Stork went to find acorns to put in her nest. The acorns got stuck in snow. Still, Stork had a plan. Stork went north to look for a short stick. She got it and used it like a fork. She grabbed the fork with her beak. Then she used the fork to get the acorns. Wow, she's pretty clever, isn't she? All right, did you see some of those spelling patterns? Let's, let's find them together. All right, what did you see? Right, right at the beginning we have Born, good. And stork, good for you. Did you see this one? A corns, good. All right, oh, there's acorns again. And stork, how about north? Did you see that one? Stork, four, anything else? Short, good. Oh, there's a lot, aren't there? There are a lot of or words. Some of them are used over and over. Wow, look at that. What a 
great job you did. That is really good looking and reading. Did you also notice that there were some inflectional endings in this story? The ing sound for snowing and the ed for grabbed means it happened in the past, right? Great job. Well, I can't wait to find out what else this stork is going to do. She found some acorns, and tomorrow we're going to find out what else she does. But now it's time for us to practice our high-frequency words. Are you ready? Okay, let me get the chart. All right, we have two words today. Right, R-I-G-H-T, right, and remember that can be a direction, or it can also mean correct. You did it correctly. And here we have better, B E. T T E R better. Good. Remember that we know that's a short E because of the double T's, right? We have to double the consonant to keep it short. So that's a clue. All right, here's our sentence. Here are our sentences. This is the hmm way to ride a bike. I like this book hmm than that one. Oh, I heard a clue. Did you hear it too? When it says, than that one, it makes me think they're comparing, right? So I like this book better than that one. And this is the right way to ride a bike. How'd you do? Great job. Right and better. I'd love it if I saw some writing about right and better from you. All right, let's take a look really fast at some abbreviations. I have some different ones for you. So when we're talking about addresses, we can make abbreviations. Remember, that's a shorter way to say or write something, but we still say it the same. So avenue, if I live on an avenue, I can abbreviate that just with A-V-E with a period. If I live on a road, this is how I would abbreviate it. R-D means road with a period. And street is S-T with a period. Did you get that? So this says avenue, avenue, road, road, street, street. Because we read them the same. We write them in a shorter abbreviated way, but when we read them, they are the same. I am so glad you came and joined me today. You've done some great reading and learning. Will you sing with me? Awesome. Goodbye now, goodbye now. The clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. I've had a great time learning and practicing with you. I hope you'll come back tomorrow so we can find out the rest of the story about the stork. Look for those high frequency words in all your stories this today and tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good.